What's going on guys, it's James the Yorkshire Modeler back with you again and we now have issue 27 of Panini Collections Ferrari F40 and we get the battery box. So yes, we get the battery components, um, so we get the battery box itself, the lid and we also get um, kind of a cover to go over it all as well. Now one thing that the uh, guys at Panini have done is this is what the original one was, uh, was sent, just a plain black one. They've changed it up a bit and they've now decided to paint certain bits of it so it looks a little bit better so that one can just go in the rubbish so i'm just going to get these all opened up and um, now in this one you it does say you get five type t screws now i've only got type uh, three type t screws with mine but one thing i did get um was a um another bag I got, obviously got five in the previous issue, but I got a bag with three in this time. So I seem to be a bag ahead for some reason. So I don't know. We will uh, see what's coming there then. So, um, so yeah, that's the little just little bit of... Um, show you on that camera there, see if you can make it out. There you are. Um, just a little bit of drivel from Panini, just about um, including that extra, that, extra little, um, that extra little part. So place the battery compartment on your worktop, which I have got here. And uh, part B of the fuel tank built in the last issue. So part B, I believe, is this one here. Let's check it. Yeah, part B. Part B is the one that's got that little uh, notch out of the side there. So, put them together as shown in the image. So we just line those two up like that so that the cable for the power is going to go out that way I believe like that and then that will go over the top nope that doesn't line up so is it the other one is it that one stupid boy aha this is going to be interesting no, it is that one. So it is that one because that little notch isn't where your um, where your battery pack goes. That's where that little notch there will sit. So your battery pack goes out the other side. So it la latches up with that hole there that I've just mentioned a minute ago. So I'll just pop that in there like that. Give that a little bit of a pull. There we go. So that's all lined up yep that looks good uh, use two type t screws to fix in place the arrows in the picture show the position of the screw mount so these screws actually go inside the uh, where the batteries sit so take time with this one as per always and i'm doing the one that's not actually touching the connect uh, connections for the um for the batteries first just so I can get it in place and then I can line that other one up and just kind of screw that in when I get it there we go so that's that all screwed into position just there uh, take the battery compartment cover which is this nice one that's been painted silver and attach it in like that uh, with the Phillips head tighten the screw cover, obviously we use Phillips head screwdrivers anyway, so we tighten that screw cover up so it sits like that. Uh, retrieve part A of the tank from the last issue, which is this one just here. Um, the four perforated columns circled in the image correspond to... Retrieve part A of the tank from the last issue. The four perforated columns circled in the image correspond to the pivots of the base. Press the two components together. Ah, there's the base. <laughs> there's always there's always another bit that you don't see. Um, so I thought I was missing. I genuinely thought I was missing a bit. Then I was going to get very angry and shout that Panini. But no, that's the base there. So the four perforated holes, whoops, move that battery box out of the way. So the four perforated holes are just in there. 
and it's those four pegs just there. So we'll line that up nicely, make sure everything's centered properly, and then we can just push fit them all together. That's that. Press the two components together, the four pins guarantee a snug fit. So, I will get this done because it seems to be that it's not quite lining up on mine. So the last thing I want to do is bend any of these parts and snap them. So I might just get that. Ah, that's why that bit's not quite lined up properly, so we'll just push that bit into the right place, and then I can just push that back in, like that. Not quite going in there, so I'll sort that out in a second. Um, but that is the uh, battery box holder on part B, and the tank have been completed in part A. Store the pieces carefully, so I'll sort those two out um, in just a minute. Um, now, the power cables uh, sorry, power unit cables and tubes are in issue 28. Issue 29, um, issue 29 says a special, a special issue dedicated to the assembly of the F40 Competizione. But there's just a picture of a lot more uh, cables there. So I'm not sure with that one. I'm really not sure. We'll get it soon enough. We'll get it soon enough. So guys, please remember to like, share and subscribe to the Auction Modeler for more weekly model building geekiness. And I will see you in the video for issue 28, which will be up soon. So until then, guys, please remember, happy modeling and stay safe.